Hey there, Meadowbrook Church. As we step into this new season of ministry for our church, we're wanting to focus on three things. One, we want to move forward with community for the next generation and move forward into the world. And so as we move through this series, we want to be sharing stories with you about what God is doing in and through our church in those three areas. And so today we have a story that focuses on what God is doing with the next generation. So enjoy this story and know that there are more to come. Hi, my name is Jackie Sarauer, and I'm the Children's Ministry Director here at Meadowbrook Church. And I'm Amanda Lewis, and I'm married to Brandon, and we have Hannah, who's five, and Levi, who is three. And Amanda and I had a fantastic interaction um, a couple weeks ago that really blessed my heart, and so we wanted to share it with you. So a couple weeks ago, well, several weeks ago, my daughter had been just asking questions um, about various things that she was learning in her church class and ultimately it came to mama how do you get to heaven daddy mm -hmm. how do you get to heaven and so we told her that you have to pray and you accept jesus into your heart um, and you live for him and you want to get other people to accept jesus too and so she said well can you help me can you help me pray we were like yes absolutely and then i said well, maybe we should have miss jackie Mm -hmm. pray with you too and she said yeah I would love to have Miss Jackie in her five-year-old way and so we came um, and we asked Miss Jackie if she would pray with us and we sat down in your office and we prayed and yeah. my daughter accepted Jesus and I feel like the kids ministry is yeah. a huge part of our life and um, a huge reason for her um, having these questions and prompting her to wonder and be curious and ultimately to find Jesus. It's pretty neat from my perspective too because she had emailed me a few um, days before and so I'm at home and I get the email and I'm like <gasps> so I tell my whole family so that morning you guys came up to me and I'm like all excited and so we come in and we sit on the floor and we pray together and when we're done my husband comes by and he's like did you pray did you guys pray so I was like yeah we prayed then I like jump up and I run upstairs and I'm like oh, you're not gonna believe this I got to pray with someone because in my role generally I am the one teaching I don't always get that opportunity to like bring kids and to know the Lord and pray with them. And so for me, it was a humongous blessing um, to witness that. It was also pretty wonderful because I was able to see the power of parents. Like we were able to do wonderful things in Sunday school, but ultimately she came to you and you're the one that told her. And so for me, it was just a blessing to be a part of um, in our ministry. So I, I'm so blessed and I just keep telling people like often, I tell people because that is like that's what we do like nothing matters except this mm -hmm. this is the stuff that matters yeah we should tell um about the angels what you said oh, yes yeah so, you do that <coughs> she had this like kind of nervous look on her face and i was like okay just kind of watching her with it and we're done praying and just this cute little face and i was like do you know what just happened Happen, the angels in heaven just celebrated and her face went from like calm maybe a little scared to this she just blew up her face was just adorable and for me I we were all like oh my goodness like <laughs> tears just started flowing because she knew that there was a celebration happening mm -hmm. um, nothing I mean what we were feeling was like nothing compared yeah. to like the rejoicing that was happening in heaven and just to imagine like what was Jesus thinking at that very moment? Like, right. What right. was that? Yeah. It was one of the top three best days of our life as mm -hmm. a parent to see your daughter give her life to Jesus. And right after, like, we were able to see some fruit of, like, what was going on because I handed you a Bible. It's like oh, a kid's Bible. That. And yeah. tell us a bit of what happened that afternoon. So we um, get home and she just wants to start reading and she says, Mama, let's read the Bible. So we would do like one story at a time and there's little 
parts where they the kids do like an interaction thing. So we were talking about the the serpent, and you're, the kids are supposed to get down on the floor and act like a serpent, yeah. and she just thinks that's so fun. And we, I mean, every night we do at least two or three stories, and she is just soaking it in, and it's really, yeah, it's it's amazing. Yeah. What a great reminder that is to us about the impact that we can have on the lives of the young people in our church. So hopefully that was an encouragement to you, and we look forward to sharing more of these stories with you in the weeks ahead. We look forward to seeing you this Sunday.